and the bandit together. They can't get this church wall open. They've burnt so much for it already. However, Joshua Blitz will find two kills here, picking up Shermie and Reese. Now things are starting to wrap up very, very quickly, mind you. Three versus three, down to the final 10 seconds, and the kills are going all blue right now, but Prox turns it back around. He's got a triple kill on the Kai and uses his down by himself. I don't think he'll be able to get himself up in time, because he's still got to try and run in and find the kill here. On a slither of HP, he will not have the time. That's still going to require some effort to push through. Fox is going to be falling, and that could be a great opening here for Demise. I really have to wonder why he chose to peek that one. All he had to do was sit back and wait for someone to push up those stairs. I'm sorry, push through the wall, but getting a little bit keen, it feels like. Now, Shermie's in the spot with a C4 here. He can land this perfectly if he gets it right. Yes, he does. Down goes the bomb carrier. Now into a two versus two, only with the Goyo and the castle left. One of them falls down. Demai still in a great spot. And Demawi, Demawi, Dowie, sorry, is going for the plant once more. I don't think he'll be able to interrupt this one. All he's got to do is look around the corner. He'll be there just in time, but someone is laid down. He will not find the head in time. Good. But Fox has even managed to keep himself useful despite being removed from that east wall. He's now back onto the east one, to the west one, sorry, and keeping construction tightened up. However, kills are being traded. You can see Melon's running and finding himself one. Tyrant is on a tear, though, as he finds himself three. Drone will run in front of you when you sat behind bars. Why would you move? They're assuming things are a bit too safe and they get caught out for it. Now there's a lot of work for both Melons and Harris to do by themselves here to try and swing this round back. They've got a minute or so to do so. They do have a hatch open, but they are at a massive numbers disadvantage. I say that and Shermie gets himself down, so it's not quite all over yet for the boys in blue. And you think it would be beneficial to them that they manage to bring down the bandit before you can got to use any batteries, but given that the bandit is dead, and Melus is on a fairly low HP. You can't really just say, oh, well, they only have a Kaid now. That's going to make our lives easier. Harris trying to get these angles down the corridor, but he... There we go. Dive finding one onto Prox. That's a pretty big one for them, as that is one of the C4s off the board. Music is going to be falling as well. That's that really key frag that we've spoken about here for the side of Demise. And they're still going to be waiting in. Tyrant's in a pretty safe space here. He does have that reinforced wall to his back, which hasn't been open, the bathroom wall that is. This is where actually sometimes you do see a mozzie play if people decide to bring mozzie onto this map. But he's just there ready with the battery. Not looking like it's actually going to be time for him to use it yet. He hasn't received the info to suggest. So there we go. Now it's finally going to be put down. It's going to make it a little bit harder for the mice to push on in. Half a minute remaining. And Melons is going to be falling. That's going to make it very hard here for Demise to win this round out. Shermie. Falling as well, but it doesn't matter. Fierce do win out that round. The utility in the world they need. They had to with those EMP grenades to deal with what was thrown out onto the field. And now they're into a five versus two, all because a simple angle like the garage wasn't being watched by the defenders. That's disappointing there that Reese did leave throwing that smoke grenade in. Until after Shami had gone down and Tyrant falling as well, this pretty much makes things impossible here for him. He's not even going to win out that final gun fight. Push him, which they will try and do. They're going to get sprayed from up inside this hole, but there we go. Users figured it out and brought him down. That diffuser is now on site, so the rest of the team are going to have to push so aggressively right now if they are going to make this work. And Kai is trying to hold this angle, preventing any of those members coming in. But Demise turning things around slightly. Kung Fu Melons is going to be falling, but there's going to be enough time. No nope, Demise. In no time at all. That was with the Bandit being on side. For uses now, Kai is going to push in. Doesn't check his back corner, though. He gets himself brought down, but will find a kill for himself. Demise still with the kill advantage right now, as you're left with only Shermie and Prox alive to make something happen. That's brought down to the two versus two as Prox finds a kill onto Josh. And Shermie, let's not forget, one of the big fraggers, if not arguably the best KD in the league right now, is having a brilliant performance once again today. But he's got to find these crucial kills now when it counts the most. If they want to have any chance of being able to swing this game towards their side. Prox in a great spot. C4 is going to swing out, though. He's immediately backing away, but still gets caught out. This now means that Shermie is in a spot to have to go and find both of these kills entirely by himself. This is not a pretty spot to be in. Good idea, mate. But he's at the bottom of the stairs. Not quite oh. in the right sort of spot. Backs away immediately, though, and will not find that kill. Oh, well, Shermie going to be falling. That angle is being held so tightly right now that any kind of peak around this corner is going to land you in hot bother. Josh will find a kill onto Shermie, who was pushing in towards the east. He is soon the position where the Habano once was, but he will lose out on that gunfight. Now into a three versus two, though, in favor of Demise. 
Prox has managed to crawl his way straight, straight inside of sight. There's no one watching here. Surely they know that someone is inside the bathroom. Surely the drones have told them. He knows he's going to try and push him, but that one will know that he's there, but still loses the gunfight. That one's going across the Dowie plane on the castle. Now it's down to the final two versus one. Going to have to try and sit this planet free. He wants to make anything happen here, but all it's going to take is the voice to push into construction, and this round is done. So it's going to help them a lot. Prox in the same rough spot as last time, not quite the same. We'll find himself down from safety, safety inside a church. This feels just like last round all over again, Gio. 25 seconds left. The diffuser is down inside the, inside the site itself, ran straight onto a goo mine. Has managed to recover the diffuser, but they know that there is one playing inside of dirt, and there are still three other members left alive. The numbers advantage is firmly against them right now. And this is a really weird spot to be planting right in the corner. Not quite tucked away, but equally exposed to someone inside of tunnel. He has gone down already, so now it's four versus two. I don't see how fierce bring this one back. The mines should be fine themselves going through to a six and four right now. They are one round away. Unfortunately, you can't repel on the wall, but still in a great spot, and they still managed to get the wall open all the same. Well, Josh Glitch is going to be falling. Takes it down of both of the Romans on the side of Demise. Now they're just remaining with Yuzus and Dowie. This is going to be a pretty difficult Ooh. hit, especially as Yuzus is going to be falling. This is a good situation here for Fierce to be in, but they still have to finish things out. In goes that final smoke. But once again, I think Dowie was the last one remaining on the last time that they were on this round. Down goes the diffuser as well. It's just looking like a very good situation here for Fierce to be in as it's going to be so difficult for this smoke to be able to retake the site. Yeah, he's got a lot to do. He's going to get to kill down this last member here as well. He's going to go for a bit of a pre fire and hope to catch him out. But this isn't the case. 30 seconds to kill three and get the diffuser. I don't know about you, Gia, but I don't really fancy his check. Speak about here is Harris who's trying to kind of cause a bit of contest here as well to give them something else to think about from another angle without putting himself at any great risk. Now, Fierce have got four left alive. They are down without a single drone. So this is all pushing in blind here, but it is a four versus two. Harris is in the spot to cause a lot of troubles for them if they can't deal with him. Him being in the spot means that that south balcony is not safe. Now, Reach is going to try and go for the plant, and he may yet be able to pull this one away. It can't be stopped. That plant's gone down. Now we're in a really difficult spot. That's C4 maybe a little bit late here, but it's going to be a kill going on elsewhere around the map as Kai brings down Yuzu's. It's a one versus four. It's all down to Harris to make magic happen for him here. He doesn't check the bottom of the stairs, so gets himself sprayed down. Fierce Force 